it is. It is live time. Hello, hello. Welcome those who are here. It is live time. Come on in, y'all. Come on into the live. Please come in. Okay, let me see what is going on here. B. Roulette, prayers for healing. L. Anderson, peace be still. Thank you, Father, for your supernatural healing power. We trust you. Amen. 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 Yes, Lord, we trust you. He is the only way. Can't cook, but I'm back. <laughs> uh, hey, my sweet Angela Critter. Yes, y'all come on in and speak to each other. Come on in the room. It has been too long. I have missed you. Oh, I have missed you. Let me see what y'all are saying. I am sitting here grinning from ear to ear. I am too LSV. I am so happy. Yes, I am happy. Oh, hey, Joshua, how you doing? How you doing, baby boy? Oh, hi, Beverly. Big, uh, big yourself straight. Joshua, hi, Angela. I mean, I missed you too. I missed everybody. Hello, Lorraine. Uh, Andros, love you. Pastor Paul, hello, Beverly. I just had a hip total replacement. Oh, Lord. Hi there, Joshua. Honey, how you doing? How are you doing? You are going to make it. Yes, you are. Uh, Brenda Hawking, I will get on here later. I am cooking right now. Looks like an awesome group. Thank you. Vernell! Hey, Vernell, I missed you. Welcome back, Miss Beverly. Glad to see you. Missed our Tuesdays and Thursdays. Hope you're feeling a lot better. Hey, everybody. Thumbs up. Yes. Uh, Joshua speaking. Angela. Everybody's speaking. Good, good. Virtuous Queen. Good morning and our afternoon to Miss Beverly and everyone else. Happy Tuesday, everyone. Oh, I want to hug you all. I want to hug you all. I missed you so bad. Oh, my Lord. Uh, Beverly, did you watch Steve Wilkos and Jerry Springer in 2007 and 2008? I probably did, but I don't remember. Because I loved them back during that time. I did. I loved them back during that time. I am so happy. Wait a minute. <laughs> this is my new Escalade. <laughs> to God be the glory. Yes, Lord. He has brought me to my walking stick. My, when did I go on a walking stick? Last week? The third week. Yeah, the third week I went on my walking stick. This is the fourth week. Amen. Amen. Jimmy ain't gonna let me cook y'all, so that's out. I can I can do a live. This morning I got up and went in the kitchen to put the dishes in the dishwasher. What you doing? What you doing? <laughs> I said I'm gonna put the dishes in the dishwasher. I can do a little bit of something now. Um CLSB. Hello, virtualist. Amen. Lord. I know it's some of you who have been here, in, who are in here, who have had a hip replacement surgery. Some people, to God be the glory, those who say they can get up and do all this in two weeks. Some say they can walk in a week and do all this. 
My doctor told me to quit looking at those videos. He said, Beverly, stop watching those videos. Stop watching them. <laughs> that is not you. That is not the surgery you had to have. My incision is about that long. My incision. I had a complete, you hear me? A complete. Now, some of them have those, that they have those little incisions like that, and they can get up and run, do little different things. But, but I thank God every day, every day is a victory. Every day is a victory. But I will not. You hear me? Will not be having the other hip done in three months. Will not. It will probably be next year before I do that. Because it really takes you three months to six months to heal from this surgery. And a little bit longer. And I would not dare put Jimmy and Ahmad through this again because they have been my right hand and I thank God for them. I thank God for them. They have taken care of me and put their life on hold for my life and I thank God for them. You know I do LSP. <laughs> Ain't nothing like my Jimmy. <laughs> I know it's other men out there that take care of their wives and are good to them too, but it ain't nothing like my Jimmy, <laughs> okay? <laughs> Valentine's Day, before Mar goes to school, they come in the bedroom, tell me happy Valentine's Day. They had chocolate-covered strawberries, chocolates, teddy bears, cards. Then, after Mom went to school, a couple of hours early, the florists came with a dozen of red roses. And I said, oh, I don't deserve this. I don't deserve this. Today is the first time I had on makeup in, in over a month. But I put it on today. I put it on today. Okay. Let me see what y'all are saying. Mr. Jimmy is just protecting you. Tell him to let uh, you do better. It's hard for him, but he is. It is hard for him. Hey, should it? Uh, she yay. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. Hi there. Uh, so sweet. Those sweet. Yes. So sweet. My water. Because all I've wanted is water. A mod. Nana, you need some more water? You need me to fill my, your water up for you, Nana? When I eat, they bring my food. I'm going to show y'all. This was my bed. This right here. This recliner was my bed for a week. I slept in this recliner. That recliner right there, that was Jimmy's bed for a week. He slept right there next to me. Right next to me. He would, and I tried to get him to go to bed. I tried because our bedroom is right across the hall. I tried to get him to go. But we have one of those older Queens, I mean, what is it? Queen style bed, you know, with the high brillings and all that. They're, you have to have a step stool to get in. I could not get in the bed. I tried the first day coming home to get in the bed. I couldn't do it. I couldn't get in the bed because it was too high. So I came in here and slept in this recliner for a week. It was my bed for a week. But God brought me through it. God brought me through it and I give him all the glory, the honor, and the praise because victory, victory, victory is mine. He brought me through it all and I thank him for it. Even when I stand up, I stand up taller. I'm not hunched over like I was and I, I see things different now. Every day is, is a new day. It's a new day. But I miss y'all and I love you. Um, what a door, what a door for you, Angela. Forgive me, but I'm going to lay down and enjoy listening. Loving seeing you back. Angela, I know you haven't been feeling well and 
You are in my thoughts and prayers. You lay down. You listen. You don't have to do anything. I am going to say a quick prayer for you right now anyway. And for the other lady who's in here who just had hip surgery. Because I know what her journey is going to be like and what she has to go through. Let's touch and agree, everybody. Come on in the room and let's touch and agree and pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, your darling son, Lord. I just thank you. I thank you, Lord. I thank you for this opportunity that you brought me here to be in the midst of my YouTube family. I thank you for bringing us all together one more time. Lord, I thank you for love that I feel here, the fellowship and the togetherness. Lord, we come standing in the gap for our sister Angela. She has not been feeling well, but Lord, you know what's going on. You know her from the top of her head to the bottom of her feet. You know the pain she's going through now. You know what's acting up in her body. You know what needs to be healed and restored. You said in your word, Lord, by your stripes, we are healed. And we're walking on the promises of God this day. We're speaking healing, Lord, over my sister Angela. Lord, I love her just like we are blood relatives. And we are blood relatives by the blood of Jesus, the blood that was shed on Calvary for all of us. That blood cleanses us and makes us whiter than snow. And Lord, I'm praying for my sister right now because she is truly, truly, truly a sister. She supports us all here, Lord. She's there for us and we want to be there for her right now. Lord, I pray for the other sister who is in this life who's recovering from her hip surgery. Lord, be with her through this process. Lord, I know what she has to go through now. You know what she has to go through now. Be with her in the pain strengthen her body. If she has to go to therapy, be with her as she goes to therapy. Give her the strength that she needs right now. Lord, I pray, pray for everyone in this live today. I thank you for them all and bringing us together one more time. And Lord, I ask that you continue to strengthen us, to shine on us, and that we will show the love of Christ in us. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. And thank you, Jesus. Amen. And thank you, Jesus. Let me see what y'all said. That was so sweet on Valentine. That was. I was not looking for that. I mean, that just shocked me. Jimmy, because I knew it was time for Jimmy to uh, take Ahmad to school. And they came into that door saying, Happy Valentine's Day. I tell you, money couldn't buy that. Money couldn't buy the joy I felt at that moment. That moment um, to remove Angela back pain out of her body and bring it back to normal body. Amen, Joshua. Amen. That's right, baby. Uh, Vernell, hey Joshua. Uh, she J. Amen and thank you, Jesus. LSP in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And LSP, I love to hear you sing. I love to hear you sing, girl. And especially when you sing them old gospel songs, I love it. Because y'all can talk about our, our Tennessee, our country accent if you want to, but ain't nothing like it. That's that singing from the soul, and I love to hear it. Okay, LSP, amen, amen. I am so glad. Oh, I got 17 thumbs up. What a blessing. Thank you, Jesus. Ah, oh, thank you, Ma. You welcome. You welcome. Because this, you all are my family. And I love you. I thank you for the comments that y'all have sent me. They were beautiful. I read every one of them. I responded to all of them. I got comments, texts. I got gifts in the mail. I got uh, what the edible fruit. People sent me flowers. Y'all have been so good to this old woman. <laughs> this old everybody's mama, 
auntie, nana, mom, whatever you want to call me. But don't call me out my name. <laughs> you know I am here for you. And I appreciate it. You don't know how much I appreciate it. I have, this is the, the first live in over, the month, over a month. I have not done a video. You hear me? A video in six weeks. Six weeks, y'all. I have not done a video. And in this time, I want you to look at God. I want you to look at God to see what he'll do. You know, most of the time when you offer um, YouTube for about a week, your analytics go down. Your numbers go down. Things don't add up right. You got to hurry up and get back so you can get them numbers back up. Right? For those who are content creators here, they know what I'm talking about. I haven't done a video in six weeks. But God has blessed me with 100 subscribers every day of that six weeks. And some of them, two and 300 people. Look at God. Look at God. You can't tell me what my God can't do. My God has blessed me with over a hundred subscri subscribers every single day that I have been off YouTube. And I know some people get more than that, but I'm telling you what God has done for me. February the 6th, I had, well, I had my surgery, January 23rd. February the 6th, God blessed this channel to reach 35,000 subscribers. Before I came on, the Lord has blessed us to be at 37,174. For the last 28 days, the Lord has blessed us with 3,441 subscribers. Give it all to God. Nobody but God. Nobody but God. You can't tell me what God can't do for you. You can't tell me what God can't do for you. Today is the 21st. YouTubers on here, you know we get paid today. My check's in the bank. This month, while I've been out, I have made more money this month than I made in the last six months. Look at God. Y'all stay, stay at it. Don't give up. All I've done since I've been out, for those who are content creators, is done remixes. And remix is where you're taking a short from one of your, uh, your videos. I did at least three every day. Sometimes four or five, not that often, but I did three every day three i don't know how this new thing is going with the with the shorts and the views but i know with the shorts since i have not been doing a video it has increased my views because even in the back it says that you are up 68 percent more views and it's all from remix so get in there those who are monetized Make some remix from your videos. Get in there. Do a couple a day. I am a witness to tell you that will grow your channel. And if you need to know more, I'm not going to go into it too much because a lot of people in here are not content creators. So this is just going over that. They don't, they don't even care about this, but thank you for listening. But I just wanted to share it with my content creators. And if you want to know more, because I've learned more things since I've been out, how to increase, you just get in touch with me. And what God has allowed me to see and view and open up to me, I will open up to you. I ain't charging no money for it because God blessed me with it. It was free. It was given to me free. And I'm going to give it to you. Okay, let me... Hey, Steve! doing stand welcome to god be the glory give him all the 
all the praise. Won't he do it? Miracle worker and promise keeper. He is a promise keeper. He's he going to take care of his own. I belong to God and he took care of me. Hey, Nancy. Nancy, thank you. I got, Nancy has blessed me with a t-shirt. Next time I'm going to lie, I'm going to wear that t-shirt that Nancy blessed me with. She sent it to me in the mail and I got, y'all, it's unbelievable the things that my brothers and sisters in Christ right here on YouTube have blessed me with while I've been out. I mean, I have felt the love and I thank God for that. Uh, Stan, it is very good to see our Queen Beverly. Thank you. Hey, Anna! Welcome to the live. Welcome. Much blessings to everyone. Bernal, hey, Stan and Nancy. Uh, Nancy, you're welcome, sweet lady. Uh, Nancy is always, always, always blessing me. Always blessing me. She is so good to me, and I thank God for that. And what, sh what you do, don't, don't think... I don't appreciate it because you know I appreciate it, though. I truly, truly, truly appreciate it. And, and God is just, he's a miracle worker. That's all I can say. He's a miracle worker. But I'm going to say a scripture right quick because you know what? We done had a prayer. But we, we got to hear the word a little bit, too. And, and we can keep on talking. I can keep on rattling and keep on going. Because God got this thing, y'all. And, and if you don't know him, and if you want to know him, let me know. All you got to do is just ask him to come into your life. Just believe and trust him. I am a living witness. God hears and answers your prayers. Okay. Today is about joy. I have told you this so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. John, the 15th chapter and 11th verse, and that comes from the NIV version of the Bible. Don't be sad because the joy of the Lord will make you strong. And that comes from Nehemiah, the 8th chapter and the 10th verses. And, you know, in doing some of those, um, uh, I think it was about the second week, a little depression hit me. A little. Yeah, a little depression. And I had to realize who I was and who I belonged to. And why was I feeling so down? Because I don't know. I thought I was supposed to have been further along than what I was. But God told me and let me know one day at a time. One day at a time. And that stayed with me. One day at a time. And that's what he did. The Lord is my strength and shield. I trust him with all my heart. He helps me and my heart is filled with joy. I burst out in songs of thanksgiving. And that is Psalms, the 28th chapter and the 7th verse. And that's the NLT version of the Bible. And our last verse for today is, Always be joyful because you belong to the Lord. I will say it again. Be joyful. You belong to the Lord. And that is Philippians, the fourth chapter and the fourth verse. And that's the NIRV version of the Bible. And I had to put the word of God for the people of God because you had to hear that. And if God is willing and he keeps uh, increasing my strength like he has, I am going to church Sunday. I will be in the church house on Sunday. It's been good watching it on TV, but watching on TV is not the same as being there. Now, it's good when you can't be there. That I understand. And that, it has been a blessing to me because I couldn't be there. But when I can get there, I want to be there. And I want y'all to be, I forgot to pray when I was praying, but I want y'all to remember it, it's uh, a family in our community their son was walking on the railroad track and he had his um, ear thing. I mean, listening to his music and he must have had it turned up real, real loud. He didn't hear the train and the train killed him. 30 years old. 30 years old. Lift up his mother. She She's having a hard time. I know the father and his siblings are also 
but his mother is really, really having a hard time. So if if when you're praying, think about that mother that her son was killed by the train. He worked for UPS and he worked at a nursing home. He had two jobs. And at his at his home going service, all people had was good things to say about him. Good things. Young people, young people crying, black and white, crying about him, about what a good person he was. They said to be a person so young, if you had a problem and you went to him and talked, said he would listen to you. He would actually listen to you. And then he would give you good sound advice. And they said that he will truly, truly be missed. And I just, y'all pray for the that family and his friends and what they going through right now. And that the Lord will cover them and take care of them and bring them through this dark time. Because joy is coming in the morning. I'm going to see Marlene Sanders. Hi, welcome to the live. How you doing today? Welcome, welcome. Nancy said, oh my, how awful prayers for his, for his family, especially his mother. Yes, yes. When I was watching the service um, Sunday on TV, um, she came down for a special prayer. And then at the end of the service, she used to go to our church maybe about 15 years ago, but she left and they went. Their family went someone else, somewhere else, but she came back Sunday. She came back. And she needs she need the prayers of the righteous. She need people around her right now. Because nobody wants the pain of burying their child. Because our children are supposed to bury us. We're not supposed to bury our children. And that's a pain that I don't even want to even imagine. I don't want to even try to imagine how she feels because I that's such a pain that I don't even want to think about it. But for all the mothers and fathers who have lost a child, my heart goes out to them because that is an unimaginable pain. Uh, for strength and peace for this mom and family. Yes. Yes. We, we got to pray, y'all. We got to pray. Yeah, that... And... I didn't go Sunday. I was thinking about going Sunday, but I had a Saturday night. I had a restless night and I couldn't sleep good. So in a way, I was glad that I wasn't there because seeing her and what she was going through, that would have just tore me up to be in the presence of that. Seeing it on TV was enough, but to be there in the midst of it, I know, but who am I? I'm not the mother. That mother's going through that pain. Why am I running from it? That's something to think about. That's something to think about. Marlene, yes, unimaginable. Yes, that was whew, so unimaginable. And my heart goes out to her. Then um, it's another situation with a family member that we have is going through right. Hey, Gio, welcome to the live. Hey, my first live, Gio. And um, I can't go into details right now what it is because it's still being um, investigated. But just pray that the truth will come out. Just pray. And when I can talk about it, I will. <laughs> yes, I'm back. I'm back. Yes, I missed y'all. I missed everyone. I sure did. And Gio... I was telling everybody I have not done a video in over six weeks, Gio. Over six weeks, I have not done a video. All I did was remixes from my old videos. I did three a day, sometimes four or five. But in that God has blessed me over the time I'm being out, Gio, to be blessed with over a hundred subscribers a day sometime some days i got two and three hundred subscribers and i was telling them in the last 28 days the lord has blessed me to receive three thousand four hundred 
and 41 subscribers. And I have not made a video in six weeks. And I was telling them that, you know, you when you be off your channel for a week, your channel goes down. Your channel goes down. But God's been taking mine up. He's been taking it up. February the 6th, I reached 35,000 subscribers. And before I came on this live, I was at 37,174. Look at God. Look at God. And this is from the remix only. That's the only thing I've done in the last six weeks was make remixes from my old videos. And they have really, really grown. I, I can't wait till for um, next month when we see how the shorts are going to pay for the month of February. Because the last time I looked at it, it showed my ad. I made $4 and 80 some cents or something like that. I don't know. what, But it's still supposed to be put all together in a pool and all this and that. Because I can't wait to see how it comes out. But... Uh, my remixes have really, really, really been blessed. And, and I just give God the glory for that. But I, I was telling everyone, the Lord has opened up things and shown me during this time of how my channel has grown. And for those who are content creators, if they wanted to contact me, they can. And I will share it with them because... A lot of people on my live, they are organic. They don't have a YouTube channel. They don't have a YouTube channel. So this is not important to them. But for those who have YouTube channels and are monetized, this is important. Even if you're not monetized, this will bless you and help you along the way. If you're not monetized, you have videos, you still can do remixes and it will help your channel to grow. It will help your channel to grow. And I have seen it for myself. I've seen it in my analytics that I can show you for myself how it has blessed me. And my channel is up over 68% more. And I have not put up a video in over a month. Okay. Just coming in. Welcome. Thank you, uh, Vernell, taking care of that. Uh, Angela is speaking to Marlene and Gio. Uh, Marlene said, yes, remixes have, yes, remixes have really, really blessed my channel. Really, really blessed. As of today, the prop, what I have made so far for the month, I've made more this month. <laughs> In the last few months and all of my months have been good now don't get me wrong god has been good to me they have really really been good um i don't want to say the lord has blessed me in the thousands in the thousands i'm not making a hundred dollars i'm not making five hundred dollars i'm not making eight hundred dollars i'm not making one thousand and i'm not making two God has blessed me. God has blessed me. And if you want to grow your channel and to learn how God has opened up and shown to me and has blessed me with these supernatural increases, get in contact with me. Get in, I'm not... I'm not putting it out there, but if you ask me, I will tell you. Get in contact with me because God has made a way. And if you, I mean, it's, it's just unbelievable. It is unbelievable. And I don't know the last time, well, probably over a year since I've made under $1,000. It's been over a year. It really has. And you can make money here on YouTube. You can make money here on YouTube. I make more on YouTube than I make in my retirement and my social security. And I get two retirement checks from two different places and social security. I make more on YouTube. 
and I haven't done anything for six weeks. <laughs> but God has. He was working it out for me. Okay, um, for now, God bless those who endure and that are faithful to him. Amen. Amen. And when I get my Social Security check, when I get my retirement check, today I got my YouTube check that was put in my bank account, I pay my tithes. I pay my tithes and offering. Offer everything I may. To be real, Sunday, I wrote the check out for Jimmy when he was, you know, to put it in the offering when he went to check, check to church. I paid my Social Security. I went on and paid my YouTube check because I knew what it was going to be. So I included it in that and my retirement. The money that I knew that I would be receiving for the rest of the month, I went on and paid the whole tithes for it right then. I just went on and paid it. I know some people don't believe in tithes and offering, but I do. I've always done it, and I always will, because you can't beat God-given no matter how hard you try. The more you give, the more he'll give to you. You, and that's a song, you cannot beat. I go, you can't be God given no matter how you try the more you give the more he gives to you da 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 you can't be God given, no matter how you try. Amen. I don't care how you try, you can't beat him. Amen. You want to be blessed? Pay your tithes and offering. Joyce, one, two, three. Yes. Tell it, Joyce. Yeah. And you know what, Joyce? I get excited. I get, I be running. I want my money to be in that church. Like I told you, I went on and paid. I hadn't received my YouTube check yet. And I haven't gotten my, my last retirement check that I get at the end of the month. But I knew the amount that they were going to be. I included that in all. My Social Security, all three of them was paid. I put it right there. I put it right there. I know it's done. I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to think about it. It is done. I, done. I paid my tithes and then I gave an offering. Because you don't just pay your tithes. You don't just pay your tenth. That is what we owe God is that tenth. We owe him a tenth of what we make. Where your blessing comes from is in that offering that you pay after that tenth. So I pay my tenth and then I give an offering. But that's me. That's me. That's my household. As for me and my house, that's what Mr. Black and I do. We pay tithes and then we pay our offering. That's how we do it. Vernell, tithes and offering is your sustain sustainer from God. He will keep you and see you through if you do right, right by him. Amen. Amen. And you can't rob God and people wonder why things happen why they won't grow, why they don't have any increase, because you're robbing God. That's, it's plain and simple as that. If you are saved, and if you're not saved, you don't care. It don't matter to you. But if you are a saved child of God, and you don't pay your tithes, you are robbing God, but yet you expect God to bless you. You expect God to give you these supernatural increases. You expect God to open up these things for you that you haven't done your part for him. You haven't. And you know, in the Old Testament, they paid their tithes once a year. And back then, they were bringing you know, the, the goats and the animals. They That was their sacrifice. It wasn't dollars like we got now. They sacrificed the animals. And they did it once a year. 
But now we have money. We make money. And it's not what you pay after they take out the taxes, to be truthful. It's what you make before the taxes come out. But that's that's another lesson. That's another lesson. Tell them like it is. Yes, Lord. Every time I give a bigger offering, he blesses me much. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. There you go. There you go. There you go. You hit it. And I have heard some of the movie stars before, and it used to bother me, you know, because they were in the world. They out there in the world doing their thing, but they paid their tithes and offering. And they were saying, you know, they know where their blessings come from. I may not do everything that's pleasing to the Lord, but I'm going to pay my tithes and offering because I want to be a success. And if you want to be a success, you got to give God what does, what belongs to God. That don't mean, don't get me wrong, that you are paying God for him to bless you financially or anything like that. You got your health. You have your family. You have a roof over your head. You have food to eat. He supplies your needs. You have a job to go to. You're not worrying about getting laid off. It's things like that that you don't think about, that makes you comfortable, that brings you peace and bring you joy. The ordinary things. And then you wonder when trials and tribulations come, you know, though we go, we don't know where to do and where to go or where to run to. I run to the rock. I run to God. I go to him because I know what God can do for me. Okay, uh, Joshua, every day is a blessing all the time when God, who will receive everything, what you need, it's a gift. Amen. Amen. Well said. And since I've, I've been here in this room, in this recliner, y'all, I've been sneaking in a peek and, you know, going to different people's uh, lives, people I wouldn't ordinarily probably went to, but just trying to see, you know, what folks are saying, where they're coming from. I went in one of these lives. Why did this person say, uh, send me a donation and I'll pray for you? If you go somewhere and somebody telling you to give a donation, they pray for you better. Find the exit door. Find the exit door and get on out. You don't have to pay, pray, pay for a prayer. Prayer is free. Prayer is you talking to God. And I could not believe that. Send me a donation and I will pray for you. A donation. It's all about money for some people, and uh, my cash app is 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 um is in the con you know my cash app is down here my PayPal for you to pray for somebody. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. You better run from that person. They're going to ask you for a donation. For the, the pr they ain't going to try to cover up. Well, you don't have to, you know, if, if you, you don't have it to, you know, to get. Well, you done said it now. <laughs> Send a donation. Bernal, I go to the rock. Amen. LSP. Oh, my good. Mm -hmm. I heard that for myself. Send a donation for a prayer. <laughs> Gio said, well, 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 yes. Run as fast as you can from that. That's right, she Ray. She Jay. She Jay. That's right. Um, Bernard prayers is free, and you can pray for yourself with God. You don't need the wrong people praying for you when they have the devil spirit. That's right. Because they're speaking those things that come from the Bible. And it sounds good and it lines up with the word of God. You better go and read it for yourself because it sounds good coming out of her mouth can be deceiving. Can be you got to check it out for yourself. But that was enough for me when they said a donation for a prayer. I was done. I was done. 
Ah, that did it for me. I was done. Joshua said, God is always free. Just right. Jesus, Jesus paid it all. He went on that old rugged cross. He died. He died just for me. Just for you. He died. We have his blood covering. There was no price to that. He did it freely because he loves us. And you going to ask for a donation for a prayer? Oh, no. Oh, no. And what this person was saying before sound good. Sound like, I mean, you, you look like honey. Honey coming out that mouth. Just pure honey. Sound good. Until you got to the donation. <laughs> Lord, Lord, Lord. But that's the way it is, y'all. That is the way it is. Some people... I don't understand it. So beware. Listen. Listen. Because it sounds good. Look good. It ain't always good. Because you know what? The girl in that red dress. And those red high heel shoes. And that red lipstick. Ain't always good. It ain't always good. You got to be careful. And you know a person by their fruits. By their fruits, you will know them. And the, we're not supposed to judge anybody, but by their fruits, you will know them. By what they show and what they put out there, you will know them. Y'all, I've had a good time with y'all today. I'm getting tired, though. I'm getting tired. So I'm going to speak, decree, and declare. And if God is willing, we'll be doing a live Thursday. We'll be chit-chatting like we are today because I'm not. I may start cooking in a couple of weeks because I'm still not steady standing. And I'm not going to be in the kitchen doing it. Jimmy ain't going to let me in the kitchen doing that. No way. <laughs> so that's not going to happen for a while. But we can talk. And we can talk. And if you got anything you need to talk about, feel free. Because in them comments, Lord, I, you know, uh, for for those who have put things in the comment, they were told, telling me about what the family going through and what the problems. When I read them, I pray right then for them. I pray right then for them. I answered, and I've had so many people respond back, said, I can't believe you responded back to me like that. Said nobody has ever done that before. Said you responded back with love. And some men said, you sound like my granny. That's the way my grandma would talk to me. And I miss my grandma so bad. But I found a new grandma. Because when I need to talk to someone, I'm coming to you. Because in the comments, you respond like you are talking to me right now. And I do. Depend on the situation. A lot of them I give a heart. And like when they are praying, you know, and thanking God for something, I give a heart then because that's their prayer between them and God. I don't have anything to do with that. And when they say amen and hallelujah, I give a heart. But when they're speaking from their heart and they're asking and they're letting me know of a situation going on, oh, yeah. We have a conversation. We have a true conversation. And I enjoy every bit of it. I even, I let them know. Let me know how it turns out. Please don't forget to come back, you know, and let me know how everything worked out. And they do. They do. That situation you prayed over for me, they let me know. God is so good. And it's all free. It's free. You don't have to pay for it. If somebody asks you for some money, go to the exit door because it is free. God's word is free. God's peace is free. God's joy is free. God's love is free because Jesus paid it all. 
Let me see what y'all said before I go. Marlene, amen. Boss, amen. It has been such a blessing to be here with everyone today. Thank you so much, Miss Beverly, and God bless. Uh, Marlene says, I've been praying for you. Thank you. I felt I, I felt the prayers of everyone. I'm, I'm serious. I could feel it in my body. I could feel it in my body when y'all were praying. And I want to sing just a little bit, bit of this, and then I'm going to speak to Cree and declare. Somebody prayed for me. Had me on their mind. Took the time to pray for me. I love that. Somebody prayed for me. Had me on their mind. Took the time to pray for me. And Lord knows that meant the world to me. You just don't know. Money can't buy that. And the joy I feel right now, y'all just don't know. But it's all about God and what he can do in your life. Lord, somebody prayed for me. Amen. Had me on their mind. Took the time to pray for me. And I pray for each and every one of you. I, should, I speak, decree, and declare for you. I sure do. I sure do. Some of you don't even know I'm doing it, but I do. I sure. When God puts it on my heart and my mind, I speak it, I decree it, and I declare it. And some things I can't even tell you that I do because that's between God and you. He just told me to speak it. Do you understand what I'm saying? He just told me to speak it. And what happens which is, is between God and you. I am courageous. I am unstoppable. I am victorious. I am love. I am blessed. I am gifted. I am anointed. You hear what I'm talking about? I am anointed. I am successful. I am healed. I am healthy. Thank you, Lord. I am beautiful. I am whole. I am confident. I am forgiving. I am grateful. I am generous. I am strong. I am favored. I am able. I am powerful. I am fruitful. I am, I am God's masterpiece. You are God's masterpiece because our God does not make any junk. And if you don't hear anything else I say, hear that. You are all made in the image of God and you are beautiful and wonderfully made. And you believe it. For those who tell you you're nothing, you never amount to nothing, you won't be a thing, you are somebody. You are God's masterpiece. I love you, but God loves you more. And remember that. And thank you, everyone, for coming by and being with me today. I have 29 thumbs up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at God. Look at God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I know y'all laughing at me, but it's all right. I'm just happy. I'm just happy. I'm so happy to be back with you all. And I'm just going to take it one step, one day at a time. Bye-bye. See you all Thursday. God bless you.